in this community, there's a lot of uh, families that are breaking up every day. And uh, in most cases, families are broken up because the man has not done his responsibility. Uh, but I want to also uh, say that uh, the issue is not because people are poor, but it's because of the mindset. That has created a lot of disunity and family breakout, and that makes the children suffer because the children uh, become the grass where the two elephants fight from. Father is supposed to have the eyes to see, to lead the family. The father is supposed to get food for the family. And he plays a great law, which is not the case in Kiboko Center. You realize that again, the mothers are playing a great role that the men are supposed to play. So we need help, conferences, teachings, to help these men understand their responsibility. We want actually the men to be priests of the home, to be connected to God. We want the men to provide for their homes, to provide uh, food, to provide clothing, to provide for the education, to provide everything that is missing, but also as well to protect their homes, to protect their kids. When we have a complete home and the man is standing in their position, the commuter will be balanced, the church will grow, and all, ultimately the nation of Uganda will be wonderful. In the past, uh, before we began working with our MADAP team, we were majorly focusing on children and, and women, and uh, we did not have much success. The men in our culture in Uganda, and mostly in Africa, they are the final decision makers. And so we've seen that when we involve the men, actually the decisions in the home are, are really good. So what has happened in the past years as we work with MANAP team, we've seen now men ha are also coming to church. Men are taking up their responsibilities. Actually, we have now kids who are coming to school because the men are also supporting their kids to come to school. And the men are also supporting the women as well. So actually it is very vital. We've seen it, that kind of tremendous advantage of working with the men through the MANAP team. I want to thank God for MANAP team. When they come and speak more or have conferences with men, they will realize their responsibility towards family and we shall not have many cases of children that we have. Three years ago, I was blessed to meet the MANAP team uh, here in Uganda. And uh, I was very much blessed to meet uh, these men with passion and very passionate to help other men grow spiritually, emotionally, and physically. In this particular community, over 300 men have been reached by the Ministry of Manap. And not just meeting them and training them, but their families are changing, their financial status are changing, they're learning how to save their money and use it in the right way. They are now taking responsibilities that they should take as men, and their spiritual life is growing. They are, they, they, their churches are, are growing, the ministry of men are coming up because of the man-up involvement. And not only reaching out to the men, but other social needs of the children. Uh, they have been involved uh, deeply in our ministry, supporting us and buying food and uh, doing many things, help the children to have some children materials. And so we are grateful for what MANAP is doing here in Uganda and particularly in Palisa. And I'm so thankful as a pastor with all other pastors in this community, we are grateful of what MANAP is doing. And we say that may the Lord bless you so much.